Hello, welcome to this Manurewa High School Social Sciences Department e-learning presentation. This is on how to create a lesson in the cloud. This can be done in five steps. Um, first of all, as you would with a, any lesson plan, you create uh, all the resources for your lesson, including a lesson plan, and then place them in a folder, maybe on your desktop, maybe on your H drive or your T drive. You're then going to need to save the folder into SharePoint. I'll show you how to do that in a second. Uh, you then hyperlink all resources that you've got, all digital resources, to the lesson plan so that when a teacher clicks on them, they magically appear on screen. Uh, four is test the hyperlinks to make sure they all work. There's nothing worse than getting uh, links that, 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 that operate properly. And finally, um, you then link the lesson plan to the OneNote. So let me just show you what I've got here. I've got a folder on my desktop with my lesson plan about gumboot dance. Um, and in there, I've got my lesson plan. I've got a couple of resources as well that I want to uh, use during that lesson. So we need to put that into SharePoint. SharePoint, don't forget, is the T drive uh, in the cloud, which will make it easy for, uh, for you to share your resources with anybody. Um, now you can do this in two ways. First of all, if you've got um, if you've got the SharePoint open on there, then you can simply navigate to where you want to save those resources, um, and you can put them in that way as you would do normally, copy and paste them. If you don't have that yet, uh, see the previous video on on how to get that link because that's a really useful link to have. But you can do it uh, online. I'm going to show you how to do that. So you would go to your SharePoint. Um, I've got my SharePoint uh, Social Sciences linked up here. Again, see the previous video to, to work out how to get that link. And that will take us to our, um, our SharePoint there. Uh, navigate to where you want to keep the resources. Um, if you're not sure about where to keep the resources, uh, do speak to either myself or or Jeff about that. Um, so culture and identity. It's a front load lesson, and you can see there that um, you can put them in over there as well. Okay. All right. So now we've got our resources into SharePoint. What we now need to do is uh, work out how to link them in. So I'm going to first of all open up my lesson plan. I'm going to edit that document. Um, I'm going to do it in Word actually. I'm just going to launch that. All right. So here's the lesson plan. And I want to put some uh, links in there. First of all, I've got a video that I want to link. So I'm going to find a video on uh, gumboot dancing. And I've watched these two, so I'm going to put, first of all, this one on. Uh, now, to get the link, it's dead easy for a YouTube video or, or a website, even. You just highlight and copy. The URL at the top there. Go back to your lesson plan, highlight the words that you want to link, right click on that and then go to hyperlink and then simply paste that URL in there. Click OK and you'll see it's underlined so we know that that's going to work. I've also got one more that I want to put on. All right again I'm going to highlight that link so I copy that link, go back to there, highlight the text I want to hyperlink, right click, and then paste that in there. And then, of course, when you click on those links, it'll take you straight to that video. Okay, so that's how to hyperlink a video. If you scroll down here, um, I've got the background information um, that I'm going to want to, that's a website. So again, I'm going to find my website. I'm 
Okay, here's my gun boot dancing. History. Again, copy the URL. Go back to the lesson plan. Highlight the text. Right click, hyperlink, paste in. And there we go. That will then link to the website as well. Now these two resources here, these are a bit different because these are resources that I've created that are in the SharePoint. And here's how to do that. So you go back to your SharePoint and you find the resources. So here is my three level guide worksheet. And what, to, what you need to do is get a link to put into the, one, uh, into the lesson plan. So to get the link, it's dead easy. You click the, the ellipse on this side and you go to share. And what you're going to do is you're going to get a link. All right. And it's just going to be a view link. Um, exactly what the difference is between these, I'm not sure, but I go for the no sign in required ones. So that means that anyone can see them. But they can't edit them. Okay. Uh, which is important unless you go, to, of course, to the edit link. So get a view link, click on it. And again, you copy that link, you go back to your lesson plan, you highlight the text you want to uh, link, right click, and I think you know the rest by now. Paste that in. I'm going to do the same for the other lesson. Yeah, so the other resource, I'm going to close that, click on my answers, go to share. get a link again I want a view link copy that back there oh that's what not to do highlight it hyperlink and then we do that and I've got one last resource that I'm going to do which is a map feel free to fast forward the video at this point if you don't want me to to do this Oh, that was a mistake as well. So you click on the ellipse, share, get a link, I want a view link, I copy that, and I'm going to hyperlink, paste that link in, and there we go. So now, when you click on these links, it'll take you through to a digital version of the resource and there's my uh, ma here's my map of the mines in South Africa if you don't know what gumboot dancing is by the way you feel free to check out my background information or check out the videos so there we go we've got um, the lesson plan with all of the resources linked so again, just check, as in, t obviously part four is test the hyperlinks. Just make sure that they all work and go to where they need to go and they're not confused. It's a couple of minute job, but it'll save other teachers a, um, a lot of hassle further down the line. There we go, is my website. And of course, I've checked that video, so I'll just check this video. There we go. All right, then you can.